everybody okay so today i'm doing a hair tutorial um everyone was asking me how i do my curls or whatever with my strainer and i use my fh i heat g2 technique two strainer it's about 70 bucks in uh, um beauty salon stores and then online it's like 70 or 60 bucks but you can probably get it for cheaper and um the thing i like about this strainer is that um it has a very um thick grip for me, like, I've tried the Chi and, um, yeah, the Chi, and it's very flimsy, and I don't really like that. This one's very firm, so that's why I like it. Um, the only thing about this hair strainer is that it doesn't have heat settings, but, um, I don't really mind, because, yeah, I just don't really mind. And the products I use for my hair is that I use these little clips, like these. I use, like, three of them when I do my hair. One for my bang, two for my layers, and then, yeah. Um, and then I use this paddle brush, just regular, ooh, my hair's on there, gross. And then I use my Herbal Essences hairspray. Um, it smells really good, and it doesn't really make me make my hair crunchy, which is what I like. So, yeah. I don't really use heat protectant or, like, um, a frizz, uh, what's it called? A frizz, a frizz, frizz ease or whatever to, like, not frizz out my hair because my hair is actually not that frizzy it's pretty silky um it's naturally like this so i don't really use anything on my hair besides hairspray and then my hair straightener so yeah i hope you guys find this helpful for all you guys who are trying to figure out how to curl your hair with a straightener honestly it takes a couple of practices to get a hang of it and um yeah i just basically just take my hair um pull it out with the straightener like this and then i curl it inward and as i keep going down i go like to i just go like this and then i just keep clamping it and I hold it at the end for about five seconds and then I let it go so that's how I get these um really bouncy curls and then um yeah I section off my hair in uh three pieces so um every piece is kind of even so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick hair tutorial and I'll see all you soon bye okay so I kind of got started on it already but I already did the side of my hair and um all I did was I just separated my hair um half up half down with a little hair clip um it's like a little clip like this so yeah let me clip my bangs too okay so all i do is i really don't like prep my hair for this i don't use heat protectant i don't use like silk infused stuff for my hair my hair is just naturally pretty healthy so i don't really need to use anything so i'm very low maintenance on that oh, oh sorry about that okay anyway so yeah i just take my little paddle brush and ooh, it's dirty but then yeah so um, I just did, as I just said, I just did the side of my hair, and all I do is I just take, um, I just brush my hair out a little bit, just so, you know, there's no knots and stuff, and then I take my, um, FHI Heat, um, Curling Iron Tech G2, and, um, I just take, like, about an inch worth of hair. If you guys want bigger curls, the, you should take more hair. If you guys want tighter curls, you take, um, thinner strands of hair, but I like really big, kind of wavy hair, so... I'm just taking my um, hair strainer again, and all I'm doing is that I'm just, see, I'm just kind of tugging on it, and then I curl it in, and then this part is kind of straight, and I just, all I do is I just bring it down, and then I just kind of tug on it a little bit, and then I just kind of twist it downward, and then just slowly just bring it out, flipping it outward, and then curling in, or out, and then that's the kind of curls it makes. So yeah, and then I just do it again, I get, um, ooh, my hair is falling out, um, not my hair is falling out, but out of the clip I put in. So again, I just take a little piece like that, take, take my straightener, flip it out, curl it in, and then I just bring it out. And then as I get to the end, just to make sure that the curls, I mean that the ends are curled, I just do it again, and I just... Roll it back again, and then I just leave it in for like two seconds, one and two, and then you should get a curl like that. So it's actually very easy to do this hair. Um, you just have to get the right straightener. For me, I got a really firm, thick kind of grip on it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a very thick grip, so that's why I like it. So I can really tug on it, and it doesn't really flinch anywhere. So again, I'm just flipping it out, curling it in, and sorry. And then I'm just going to flip it out again and then curl in, leave it for like two seconds or five. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's a curl. Herbal Essences um, hairspray. 
in Tossel Me Softly. It's the purple one. Oh! And then I'm just going to spray it very lightly. Um, I don't like my hair to be really crunchy because that's not really cute. So I just do a light spray. Just go like this with my hair. I kind of just air it out like that. And then just kind of with my, with my hands, I just kind of like to twist it in. And then what I do is I grab another clip and then I clip these curls back. It's not going to ruin them because there are curls and if you clip them it's not going to really do anything. So now that my um, bottom hair is done, I'm going to take my top half right here. And you guys are going to see that I have a lot of layers. So this is where it gets kind of tricky because this is when my curls actually matter. So what I like to do is I just like take my paddle brush and I just like to comb it outward. I can't say like I have a bob right now. But yeah, so I just like to comb it out. Okay. Now, because I have a lot of layers, I always start at the top layer and then I kind of work my way down, if that makes sense. Hold on a sec. I'm not done departing my hair. Okay, so. Is that good? Let me clip my bangs again. So, what I'm going to do is. I'm gonna take just a random section from my hair, um, about like that, that, that thick, or that wide, I should say. Taking my curling iron again, I'm gonna, don't start at the root, cause then the whole hair is gonna be curly, but yeah, again, I'm just gonna flip out and curl it in, and then wait like five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, it should make a curl like that. Then I'm going to take the bottom one of that. I'm weird. I alternate between layers. Okay. And then I'm just going to, I'm just going to curl the ends of this. So again, outward and then go in. Okay. And then I'm just going to hold it again for like five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then I let it go. And then mix that curl. Then I'm going to take this bottom layer right here. So I'm going to fast forward throughout my um, my whole head. And you guys can see like how I do the back. Because if you guys can see, my um, back layers are really short. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. but um, So yeah, that's where it gets, it gets kind of hard for me to curl. Because it's in the back of my head. So what I do is I get all of my layers that I have to curl. So I Okay, now that I've done the rest of my head, I'm going to do the top layer, which is right here. And, um, hold on, let me fix my camera. Okay, so the kind of, um, trick to this for your, um, upper layers is to make sure you curl your hair, um, uh, a thin piece at a time. So it, um, yeah, because usually the, the top layer of your hair is the thickest part of your hair. And that's where the crown is, and that's where people want the most volume. So you have to be very careful on how you curl it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let some hair out. And I'm only going to take, like, this much hair out. And then I'm just going to clip the rest right here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to curl. I'm going to take my brush and then kind of loop it backward. And I'm going to take my strainer. Same technique. But I go slower. Okay. Just going to pull out. And then curl in. And then I'm going to let it sit there for like five seconds again. One, two, three. I'm not sure how do you guys see. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's the curl. Okay. And then I'm just letting my bangs down. Um, Sometimes I leave my bangs straight like this sometimes I give them a little um wave um so with my curling iron but today I think actually yeah I'm gonna curl it in a little bit so what I like to do is I like to turn it off a little bit let it sit there for a little bit because I don't want my bangs to be super curly because then it looks kind of like my bangs are kind of short right now because I just got a haircut so I'm just gonna wait for this to dry a little bit hold on um 
like usually when I do my hair, I have to put on my mascara or something, so I kind of just like let it sit there. But since I have my full face done, um, yeah, I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit. Okay, now that it's a little bit cooler, I'm gonna curl this part of my bangs because this part right here, this blonde part, is part of my bangs too, but it's really long, so it kind of blended into the curl. So what I do is I take the first couple sections of my hair and then I kind of again curl it inward with my paddle brush taking my strainer and I just lightly kind of curl it in this way and then like that I'm not sure if you guys saw that but yeah and then I just swoop it to the side like that and that's all I do and I just leave like that and it stays like that all day and my bangs are not frizzy whatever so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this really quick hair tutorial i'm not a hairdresser by no means i'm not a professional so don't like critique everything little thing i do but i mean this hair style kind of works for me it's very easy for me to do it probably takes me like 10 minutes to do this whole thing without me talking so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial and i will see all you soon Bye bye